Grilling is nearly a sport in Chicago, as many of us take advantage of the warm weather. But in Japan, grilling is more of an art, with special emphasis on the charcoal. Our food reporter says a wave of robotic-style grills has sprung up recently. That's our Friday night special. Steve Dolinsky joining us with a take. And you're not going to see this grilling in anybody's backyard running, Kathy. Definitely not in my backyard. Now, from Union Sushi in River North to the Tokyo Pub in Schaumburg, you're seeing the term robotic grill more often these days. But purists would argue that this high heat method of searing and cooking must not use gas, but rather the imported and expensive binchotan charcoal from Japan. We found just two chefs in town relying on this unique heat source. Some chefs take pride in their knives, others their ingredients. For Dan Tucker, it's both of those, of course, but he's also proud of his charcoal because at Sushi Samba Rio in River North, which features both Japanese and South American flavors, Tucker imports the expensive binchotan charcoal directly from Japan. The branches are fired in a kiln until they glow bright cherry red. Then they're banked in the pure white sand. It results in charcoal that's almost glass or ceramic-like. So it allows you to cook things that would normally be overwhelmed by a traditional hardwood grill over a live fire. Tucker loves to grill scallops or even hamachi collar over the intense heat, the bones keeping the flesh moist and flavorful. Even short ribs get that blistered exterior, which is impossible to duplicate over gas or standard hardwood. You get caramelization and sear and this kind of beautiful crust, like especially on the skirt steaks and the fillets. Just a few blocks away, the new Roka Accor is also featuring robotic style Japanese grilling, but the space devoted to their grill is somewhat more extensive. Binchudan is amazing temperature controls. It stays always at a certain temperature. It's really good for cooking the food and seasoning. Bian will first sear items like chicken or wagyu beef over the binchotan, then move them over to a section burning mesquite wood, which adds subtle flavor. Even prawns get the robotic style treatment, along with more delicate items like sweet potatoes and asparagus. And uh, this is like simple fight, but really flavor flavorful. That's the kind of thing we're doing here. And there are other new places like Yuzu in Ukrainian village claiming to serve robotic style grilled food. But again, that is a gas only operation. So technically, it would not be classified as true robotic because it just does not burn as hot or as long as that charcoal. That looks great. Okay. Yeah, it's tasty. Steve, thanks. Yep.